sinking driveway, settling patio, collapsing stoop, uneven pool deck. It's a fact. Concrete problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Tuesday, the 17th of May. I'm James Spann, Alabama's weather, nice and quiet today. The headline, the hottest weather so far this year, coming up later this week. And then the chance of showers will come back over the weekend. Let's talk about things. Here we go. This is the upper air look across the country today. The main westerly flow north of here. And a dry air mass in place, visible satellite view. The sky sunny across the state. Got a few cumulus clouds over the southern counties. And if you look really carefully, you'll see a couple of spotty showers near or just north of the Gulf Coast. But most of the deep south totally rain-free today. Temperatures mostly low to mid-80s, about where we should be for this time of the year. Coleman 81, Birmingham 85, but the 90s are coming. Get ready. A quiet afternoon as we speak. That's the watch warning map across the country. But severe storms will likely form later today and tonight across parts of the heartland. We have an enhanced risk. That's level three out of five for cities like Kansas City and Omaha. Tomorrow, a marginal risk north of the state. That includes Nashville and Louisville. This is day three, which is Thursday. Got a risk of severe storms for parts of the western Great Lakes and the upper Midwest. And day four, Friday, a risk of severe storms along a cold front from near Dallas-Fort Worth up toward Grand Rapids, Michigan. Here's the rain for the next seven days. And again, we'll have the door open for showers this weekend and uh, through much of next week, but they'll be spotty uh, like we typically see in the warm, hot season in summertime. Uh, average rain amounts under one half inch for the north, maybe two inches down around Dothan. So model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4. Again, the core westerly winds aloft or north of here. There's a ridge over the Gulf Coast, and we are dry for the most part. Could there be an isolated shower somewhere? Yes, but the chance of any one spot getting a shower, very low. Mostly sunny, highs low 90s. This is Thursday. A good chance we see mid-90s with a sunny sky. Hottest weather so far this year, and the same thing on Friday. Lots of sunshine with mid-90s. Saturday as the weekend begins, the ridge begins to weaken. And the door is open for a few showers around. It's not going to rain all day. In fact, I'd suggest a decent chunk of the day will be dry. A lot of things are happening outdoors this weekend with baseball and softball. But I'll just be aware that a shower possible, maybe a thunderstorm. Highs dropping back in the mid-80s. And then Sunday, this will probably be the day with a higher coverage of showers and storms. Even then, not a washout, but a couple of passing showers and thunderstorms likely. The high Sunday, upper 70s and low 80s with a lot of clouds around as a cold front is near the northwestern corner of the state. Monday, the front stalls out near the Tennessee state line. So again, we'll have the chance of showers and storms around. And a week from today, Tuesday the 24th, troughing coming in from the west. And again, that looks fairly unsettled with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. And we note the GFS depicting a tropical system in the Western Caribbean. Let's go out 10 days. This is Friday of next week as we approach the Memorial Day weekend. And troughing to the north and uh, the GFS just doing its thing. Uh, it does this a lot in summer. It puts down a tropical system in the Gulf. And of course, everybody with a beach trip, they get all concerned when they see this. But just uh, not so fast. Here's the European, nothing. Here's the Canadian model, nothing. How about the uh, GFS Ensemble? This is the probabilistic outlook for the chance of tropical storm force winds Saturday, May 28th. No chance uh, based on the ensemble output. And this is the European Ensemble, the chance of tropical depression formation late next week showing nothing. So just you'll see that GFS map smeared all over social media. Could there be a late an early season system? Yes, there's always a chance of that. But again, you know, posting a deterministic model output, especially from the GFS at 10 days, not very productive and not very meaningful. Uh, but as always, we'll watch trends. Uh, here's a look at uh, rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble. The mean, a little over two inches between now and the 2nd of June. After the uh, mid-90s, heat levels come down. Uh, the high Sunday dropping to near 80, low 80s for the first couple of days of next week. 
And right off the presses, got the new 8 to 14 day outlook. This is for May 25th through May 31st. And once again, with a ridge, temperatures around here will likely be above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Sagging, bouncing, or uneven floors? Call Alabama Professional Services. Standing water or high humidity? Call APS. Nasty odors or dangerous mold? Call APS. Critters, bugs, or other pests? That's right, call APS. It's a fact. Crawl space problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. Call Alabama Professional Services today.